Hey, here with another knife review. This is the Benchmade 915 Triage. It's a black class blade from Benchmade, so one class down from their, their blue class. And it's a rescue knife, hence the name Triage in the name. It's not a small knife, and I'm just going to start with some of the size. And for comparison, I'm going to throw in this full-size Griptilian because it's a knife that, that a lot of people may already own. And so you can kind of get an idea of uh, comparison between the two because they're, they're pretty close in size, although the, the triage is just a little bit longer. So the Griptilian overall clothes length, 4.62 inches. The, the triage a little bit longer, 4.7 inches. Open. The, uh, the Griptilian, 8.07 inches. And that triage is 8.2 inches. A little bit longer there. The, uh, the blade is pretty similar in length. Griptilian 3.45 inches and the triage is 3.5 inches. Blade thickness is pretty similar back here by the handle, but you can see that the Griptilian really tapers out to a point there, whereas the triage with this modified cheap's foot stays pretty thick all the way out to the edge there. Handle thickness, the Griptilian is actually bigger despite it being a, a lighter knife. I think because the Griptilian actually kind of curves out a little bit here on each side. So the Griptilian comes in at 0.64 inches, whereas the triage, which is just straight up and down, 0.53 inches. So 0 0.64, 0 0.53. So it's a little thinner with the, uh, the triage. The weight, Griptilian wins, 3.25 ounces versus a whopping 5.1 ounces. So this is, it's not a small knife, it's not a light knife. Could you everyday carry it? Uh, well, you could. I mean, you know, my everyday carry knife, typically, most commonly, I think this is the one I carry the most, this mini Griptilian, customized one. Nice and small, nice and light, great in your pocket. This knife, it's a big knife. You know, if I was carrying in a pair of jeans or in my front pocket of my pants, it'd take up quite a bit of space. Uh, but you know, I work in the ER, I usually wear like some 5'11 style pants, some different brands of that. And some of those have a knife pocket, and this just slides right into those those pants. I wore it today, carried it around all day, and th that knife pocket in the front of my 5.11s, and I forgot I had this thing with me. I mean, it's a heavy knife, but I honestly, wearing it around, I, I didn't even know I had it with me. So carried in the right way, it's really not that big of a deal, depending on, uh, on what you're doing with it. You know, if you're uh, in a uh, rescue-type situation, if you're EMS, paramedic, firefighter, police... You know, you're probably going to have appropriate clothing for carrying this, but again, everyday carry it, it's a little bit big depending on how you dress. So, use of this knife, it is a rescue knife, hence the name Triage, and it has several features that lend to that. It has this modified sheep's foot blade, and I'll get into that in a bit. And then back here, it has this very cool rescue hook that just tucks right in there. It comes right out. Rescue hook for doing things like... Uh, if you need to cut someone out of their clothes to get to some injured part of them, if you need to cut a seat belt, you need to cut some rope, uh, just all sorts of uses for that. And then folds right back on in there. And then on the tip here, carbide steel glass breaking tip. Very sharp. Not had to use that yet myself, thankfully. Um, but uh, some nice rescue type features on this, this triage knife. Comes in a couple different variations. Handles, you can either get this super bright orange handle, or there's also a black handle. The blade, it's same blade style, the modified sheep's foot, but uh, comes in either the satin finish or the black finish, and then either the plain or the partially serrated blade, and you can mix and match each of those with each of them, depending on what kind of uh, setup you're looking for. So plenty of options there. Now moving on to the steel, how about the blade? Blade first, it is N680 steel. It's an Austrian steel from what I understand. It's very corrosion resistant. Does pretty well for sharpening, does pretty well for holding a point. Uh, as it says on the Benchmade website, it helps maintain its keenness. So there you go. I think that means that it uh, stays sharp. In uh, Maybe that's in Austrian terms. But, uh, but there you go. So there's the blade. It is a modified sheep's foot blade and this is a uh, more ideal of a rescue type uh, blade compared to like this Griptilian. And reasons for that being, this blade, as you can see, it doesn't really have a, a big sharp point on it like this Griptilian does. So if you're trying to cut someone out of something, you're gonna be a lot less likely to stab them with it. 
Uh, the tip comes down kind of a rounded tip here. It has a little bit less belly. So a lot more useful for cutting someone out and uh, not cutting them in the process. That said though, if you're gonna be cutting someone out of something, you might as well just try and use this rescue hook back here. And you can get that in there, you know, cut it down, uh, get in, cut some pans, cut some rope, cut yourself out of the seatbelt, whatever you can do. And uh, it works really well um, for cutting some clothes. This is a five hook um, by Benchmade's numbering system. They come in a couple different sizes, some bigger sizes, I think a seven. Uh, but this is the five, kind of the medium size, and just tucks right into the handle of this knife. Tucks right away. You'd have no idea it was there. It just, it's cool little design. And the steel on this, this is 440C, so a little bit lower grade steel than the N680. But you're probably not going to be using this quite as much, so it's probably not going to get quite as dull as, uh, as the blade is likely to get. And then on the tip here, as I mentioned, the carbide glass breaker. Little tip for you, if you're going to use this, uh, to break some glass, just some free medical advice from having seen way more glass injuries in the ER than I care to and haven't had to sew them up. Um, if you're going to use this to break glass, you're going to hold it like this. Put, if you can, if you know, if time permits, if it's not emergent to get out of a sinking car in some water, try and wrap your hand up with a towel or a shirt or something before you go smacking at something because you're going to put this through the window and your hand is going to follow it through and you're going to end up with a whole cut up hand, forearm, that type of thing. So just be uh, be careful with that if you have the time to, to kind of cover yourself up a little bit. Um, the uh, the locks on these has the access lock. Whips right out, I love the access lock. Nice and easy. Locks up nice and tight. I actually even loosened this Torx screw a bit because it came pretty tight out of the box. And uh, so I loosened this up a little bit. I oiled it and even despite that, there is really almost no blade play at all. So I love the access lock. On this rescue hook, it, it doesn't have a lock. It just has a little bit of a detent here. Kind of clicks into place. And initially I didn't like that, but as I thought about it, it actually makes sense because if you're gonna be cutting, you know, say you're gonna be running this along someone's pants to try and get them out of it because of their leg is injured. As you run it along, this can actually flex a little bit depending on the position of your hand as you're pulling it through there. And uh, so that actually makes a lot of sense. You can open it and close it, you know, with one hand, very easy. So really nice design there. And as I mentioned, it just folds right back into that handle and uh, just tucked away. Just very nice, very cool design with that. So how about the handle? The handle is G10. Very, very, very textured handle. First thing I thought about this knife when I got out of the box was, wow, is that... Uh, grippy kind of rough. You could almost use this as sandpaper. It's so grippy. You know, I was used to something like this Griptilian where, you know, the name Griptilian is a pretty grippy knife, but it has some smooth areas here. And even back here in the texture, it's not that rough, but the G10 scales on this are super, I don't want to say sharp, but they're, they're pretty rough. So you're probably not going to drop this knife. So, um, pretty grippy there. Uh, it is a, has a steel liner. If you can see in here, It is milled out. Shine a little light in there. there you can see it's kind of like you can even get it closer. There you go. You can see that liner kind of milled out. I mean, it's a heavy knife as it is. So saving a little bit of weight by milling some of that handle out is a, uh, it's a nice idea. It is a flow through design as you can see here. And actually, if you pull this rescue hook out, you can even see in there, you can see kind of the back of that, the inside of that handle. Now, going over some more stuff on the handle here. From the back, has this uh, glass breaker here. Now, another tip on the glass breaker, this is going to sit tip up in your pocket because this is a tip up carry only. So this is going to stick out. And, you know, depending on where you carry it, this morning I sat down on my kitchen chair and even though this was in my sort of front thigh, that front thigh pocket, knife pocket on the 511s, this actually caught my kitchen chair kind of sitting down into it sideways. So just be careful. Uh, I didn't have any problems uh, catching my hand on it, but uh, this is going to stick out of your pocket. And if you're carrying this kind of on the side of your pants, it is going to be in a little bit more vulnerable place for, for catching on things. I believe Spyderco actually has their, uh, what's it called, their tr rescue assist knife that has a carbide 
tip and the way that one works actually if i understand correctly is as you squeeze it the, the carbide tip is actually recessed into the knife and as you squeeze the knife that tip pops out so uh gonna be less likely to kind of catch on things but this is probably a little bit more sturdy because you can just you know you don't have to squeeze it although if you're going to be smacking into a window you're going to be gripping it pretty tightly anyway so um you know pick pick your uh, pick your design there but um anyway pocket clip they call this their deep carry pocket clip and i initially i didn't really think it was well, i'll go ahead and put the knives in a pocket of these 511 pants so you can kind of get an idea of how just deep carry the pocket clip is so this is the full size griptilian this is the 915 triage and this is a mini griptilian and you can see that, you know, despite this, the, the triage being a, a really big knife, and it goes all the way down to here, the mini griptilian actually rides a lot higher in the pocket. So this actually does have quite a deep carry pocket clip. Now it's not as deep as, for instance, a SOG. Here's the SOG mini Vulcan. Now the SOGs with their, their super deep carry pocket clip, they just disappear down into the pocket. But still this triage, Actually has a pretty, pretty deep carry because you can see it kind of kind of loops up like that. So nice, nice design on the pocket clip. Now this pocket clip, compared to some of the other ones, like this full size Griptilian, the full size Griptilian actually has a painted pocket clip, and I believe this uh, this triage has the Benchmade the Parkerized pocket clip, which I've talked about extensively previously in the uh, the mini griptilian review here parkerized is basically kind of a hardening of the steel this painted pocket clip is eventually going to chip off and eventually it doesn't look so great but this parkerized one actually almost forms a bit of a patina over time and really just holds up just great you know this this mini griptilian here you can see this is my usual everyday carry knife and you can kind of get an idea of that pocket clip i've been carrying this for a while and it's just got a Kind of a nice look to it after a bit. So, there's that. Uh, other issues with the pocket clip, it's a smaller pocket clip, as you can see, as even compared to this mini grip tillion, but it rides down deep enough in your pocket that it, I don't really think it's going to be an issue at all. Um, certainly no problems with it falling out of the pocket. It's heavy enough, it's not going to come out. The the grip, as I mentioned, it's um, the scales on this are pretty pretty grippy, pretty sharp. So I would wonder, you know, this pocket clip isn't super tight like I've seen on some other knives, but I would wonder if you're going to have some underclip issues with it going in and out of your pocket repeatedly. And if you can get something like these 511s where they have the uh, the reinforced pocket, that'll probably do well for you. Just to give you an idea up close, if I can, kind of a close up of those scales. Give you an idea, rough idea. Going a little bit closer. So here's a close up of the knife for you. So, um, so there you go, a little bit on the clip. A little bit on the issues of the uh, the scales under the clip going into your pocket. Again, it's not a super tight clip, but but repeated in and out. You know, we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. If you can put it into a pocket of one of the like this knife pocket on the 511. This is one of the older design 511s. Check out my 511 review, but this knife pocket only goes down to there. Newer ones are designed much better, and it will disappear down into the pocket, and it uh, works great. I've carried it around and really not had uh, not had any issues with carrying it at all. I really forgot that I carried it. Overall ergonomics of the knife, you know, it's a larger knife, so it fits really pretty well in your hand. Nice grip. Is there jimping? Uh, no, not really. Access lock, as you, as I mentioned before, very nice. But um, jimping, you know, it has this sort of faux jimping down in here. And down in here, doesn't really stick up at all. Uh, but there's enough of a thumb ramp and down the troil here that it's not that big of a deal. It's a full size knife. You're not gonna you're not gonna lose this out of your hand. So I don't mind that. Fits in hand. I have medium sized hand, and you, you know you're not gonna drop this knife. So not a big deal there. Durability of the knife. I think this knife is gonna hold up just fine over time. These uh, this G10 handle is very nice, nice and grippy. I don't think you're gonna have any issues with that. You know the Benchmade quality is it's top notch. So 
no concerns there. Value of the knife, it's $165 street, or rather list price. Street price is, you know, obviously a little bit more, or less rather. I forget what I paid for this. I think I got it $20 or $30 less. So uh, I think it's just a great knife. You know, it's I love the orange color. Uh, I love the utility of the, the rescue hook. Comes right out. And uh, the blade. Glass breaker, hopefully I won't have much use for that, but uh, but overall, it is just a uh, just a cool knife. So, if you're looking for something in the uh, rescue realm, check out the Benchmade 915 Triage.